Oh, I don't want to let it go. Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where this one is going to be fun because you may be able to hear cars are going cars are going round and we are at a racing circuit. I've just arrived at Silverstone. We do like track content, don't we? It's uh, going to be good because this is one of the last track days of the year weather is closing in and for winter etc so i've decided to come down here see what's going on see what cars i'll potentially be going around the track in today we will see i have driven down today in my mercedes a35 amg there will be a big garage update in this video so hold fire obviously i'm making my uh, return to racing that is fully on my radar for next year so things on my channel are changing massively in for the better for in, in a really good way this uh, a35 is that actually staying because um, it's just so good for churning up the miles in it to be honest with you love this car the a35 is so good um, obviously I have the SVR the GT3RS more than the GT3RS is coming don't you worry in this video all in this video but I really do like the A35 I actually thought when I got the SVR that I would just end up selling this and I'm keeping it because it's just so good such a good little run around it really is and i would regret letting that go because for miles like today when you're just sat on the m40 the whole way through this is perfect and it still looks flipping amazing maybe i should change the color but i quite like it i think yellow suits the car really well there he is hello tone how are we it's, now it's sunday today so i'm getting sunday. paid for this sunday not sunday yeah well i don't normally work on a sunday so i want some money yeah Yes, please. Do you reckon you'll get any money off me? No. <laughs> Not a have you had a haircut? No. No. Have you? Yeah, I have actually. Yeah. So what Tony's doing, he's going around the track and you're in your GTRS. And we're going to go and show them because it's actually been de wrapped now. It's black. Yeah. Yeah. Don't show them the bit of trim that's fallen off. Though, actually, that, no. that's not in the video. <laughs> How are you getting on? Are you fast? Not really. No? No. Oh. Just you need, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. 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 No, we already go to private school like you. That is a catering. I mean, you was backwards, upside down in my head. No, That's never. Fine. I was just spinning. <laughs> Mate, can you go for a run in one of these? No, thank you. Do you not want to go in that? No. I mean, I was lucky to come out of that alive. I don't know if that's in there. Not going to take that. <laughs> Mr. Johnny Walker is in his GT3 RS. This has been set up for the track. That is heading out. Has a JCR exhaust on it, so it sounds flipping amazing. I mean, respect where it's due. Yeah. If you're going around the track and especially Ollie, I mean, you're a brave man. Very brave. I mean, honestly, they are the beautiful <laughs> with this weather. I mean, you are, you probably will be upside down if you went out in one of them. Yeah, it would be, yeah. Another car which is just here in the paddock is a, a GT3. I'll try and show you exactly what is in these garages, but GT3 with, it's got the right idea, no ceramics. Red calipers, so no ceramics on that. And there is a Club Sport GT4 around, and I want to find it. I mean, fair play to you. I mean, fair play if you're going around in that as well. Yeah. That is chaos. That is actual chaos. Yeah. I mean, that's not funny in this way. So as Tony goes around, I'm going to show you what's here. Earlier today, was actually we were chaos. There was a Carrera GT going around. Someone in a Carrera GT is cruising around here, and apparently he went out on like original tyres and everything else. This step. Um, which is crazy, but the track, which is quite interesting, it hasn't rained all day, but it rained yesterday, and because it's so cold, crash in. because it's so cold, the track just doesn't dry. The track's like two degrees, and at that point, it's just not drying. So everyone's going round in the wet, but it's dry. Oh, but I'm sorry. The Carrera GT is still going round. The man has done like lap after lap after lap. If you own a Carrera GT and you track it on original tyres, you are my hero. Whoever you are, I love you. Right, so if you remember, we are going to get onto the GT3 RS because there is, I'm going to explain to my viewers, there is, GT3 RS is, might be going. So. Your car? <laughs> yeah, but wait a minute. There is nothing I would like more than to go in on you now. However, however, you. Ladies. They're listening. Tony, they're listening. Are they? Yeah, I think so. You are going to go racing next year. 
So it's kind of got to be a sensible compromise. So I do understand. If you wasn't racing, I would literally defriend you. Racing wise next year, are you going to attend? Every single one. <laughs> and I'll be on the radio <laughs> from start to finish. <laughs> no, I don't need you on the radio. Yeah, you do. You need your help and your mate. No. no. I'll be just telling you to push a bit harder. And if I'm at the back? You will be at the back. No. <laughs> Am I going to win? Yes, you are going to win. Jack. Well, no, wait a minute. You better win. Yeah. You've got to win, mate. But Tony. We'll move on from that because this is your GT3 RS. Oh, yeah. It's not. It's not pink anymore. That's black. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is Tony's GT3 RS. Last time we saw this, it was pink. It's yeah. being de-wrapped, and it is looking very good. Yeah, and I don't really. I've, I've been careful with it, so I've not really been going mad, you know. Nice and sensible. Nice and sensible. But how much better does this now look? Now it is all stealthed out it is awesome i'm actually not going to be sitting next to tony today um but <laughs> but it make it look so much better yeah. and with my situation which i am going to explain to my viewers in a second uh gt4s is the best car in the world it is. but the end. and i was talking to the organizer of rma earlier like yeah uh, and he said that met over many years, different members have had different cars. They've done full circle. They always come back to one of these. You drove the Performante around here, and then you jumped in one of these, and you're loving life. Yeah, yeah. Just, it's just I'm familiar with this car. Like, honestly, it looks better than it does pink, but it's all been, it's all in pristine condition, yeah, and it's, it's like brand new. Yeah. But that is actually Tony's car, so it's actually really weird to sit like that. But anyway, I'm going now. Where? Oh, oh, that is that it? Yeah, you got any more to ask me? Nah, no, not really. Okay. Just, uh, just want to quickly ask you a quick one. What, the, what, what are those? Actually, sir, I'm dressed like a tramp today because I knew I was seeing you, and I know you don't really like to be underdressed. <laughs> you look like you just got out of bed. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. GT3 RS. What is going on? What is going on, basically? But we're gonna talk about it right now. So you may be aware, recently I have been on the hunt to basically make my uh, racing comeback next year. That is, I've made up no secret that that is what I wanna do next year and I wanna get back racing professionally after doing it from age eight to 16, racing at Lamar, racing around Europe, winning races. I wanna get back to it, basically. And you guys would have seen the videos which I made recently on that. And the comments were amazing. I honestly read the comments and I was like, everyone wants this to happen. It could be such an amazing story and such an amazing journey for people to come watch and be involved in the live streaming of the races and the everything. It's totally different content. And uh, I just want you guys to really love what I'm posting. I want to win races again. I'm a racer. I want to do it, but nothing better than doing it and doing it on YouTube as well. I mean, it's pretty insane, isn't it, the whole thing? And as I said yesterday, I had my money on the two of them for yesterday's race. And I think today um, they've just showed what a strong driver pairing they are. Really have done another very strong driver pairing. Marco Mapelli and Archie Hamilton, they are well set to take an emphatic victory. It's got Hamilton there or thereabouts. This has been a really fine drive from Archie Hamilton. First place trophy in the GTS class for Marco Mapelli and Archie Hamilton. One car which we are talking about is a gt3 rs my personal gt3 rs which i bought roughly eight months ago um and it's been my dream car and i love it it's just been the best thing ever don't get me wrong doing track getting the chance to take it on my first track day uh, i've done a few track days in it but taking it to the monaco and everything and that was the car which replaced my lamborghini hurricane and i know you guys really wanted the gt3 rs for track content and everything um and it's just been awesome. Honestly, ultraviolet gt RS is just the most chaotic thing ever. Uh, look at that, come on. <laughs> it is ready to go. But when you just park it up on a country lane like we are and you just look at it like there, you just think that is awesome. At the moment, the car's just not really being used and I don't think it has a place in my garage with me racing next year uh, because I'm it's money to be saved, money to be put in in expenses. Of It's a very expensive to-go racing. Championship, which I can't talk too much about just yet. Um, it's not cheap. And to do both, 
for me to keep the GT3 RS and to go racing and traveling to go racing and everything when I'm not necessarily using the car a lot, I don't really think it has a place in my garage. So I have to come to the decision of selling it now and then potentially getting something in the summer again. Yeah, that's basically it. Just the best piece of engineering that I've ever been in. Next year, I have to remember, all if all goes to plan, I'm going to be in a race car pretty much every week, maybe every other week. Um, I might not film it every single time, but there's going to be sort of eight, nine race weekends of the year. I'm going to be doing my track days with the car, so sort of taking people around, subscribers, all sorts. I'm in the car all the time, a sort of full race car on slicks. When am I really going to then go in the GT3 RS? and take that around the track as well. It's probably not gonna happen, uh, it being my personal car. So I have to basically decide now, do I wanna sell it? And like I say, get something in the summer, or I keep hold of it, and then I just, yeah, just keep hold of it. But it's money going out the window that could sort of be going into my race. Let's cut to the chase. The car will go up for sale. Um, they are holding value, which is good. If it sells, it sells if it doesn't i'll keep it but it, it is it is gonna go up for sale um but what i'm hoping is that you guys will get what i'm talking about here and support me because like i say i want to win races again i really want to document it on youtube as best as i can live streams of the actual races going on guys coming down to watch it everyone getting involved and i feel next year we can really build an even better community of arch hamilton racing and just everyone getting involved i think the racing is the best part to bring everyone best way to bring everyone together but not only that be different i really want to be different on youtube and this allows me to be the different guy not the guy doing laps of stone street not the guy wrapping it and just putting an exhaust on his car not all of that i'm a racing driver deep down and i want to race again basically but i want to bring you guys along for the ride um and like you saw in the the comments i saw on the video uh when i took the porsche gt3 cup car and the gt4 around the cup uh, around the track uh, was all positivity everyone basically being like this is what we want come on this is what we want we want to get going Hamilton on his 24th lap of the race is about to come up onto the tail of freddie kramer to put the lap onto the German driver. Oh, I don't want to let it go. Oh, is going to be uh, going up for sale at DH Rothko. Uh, so uh, the, all the details will be down below to the listing, etc. Um, yeah, that's where it's going to be. It's going to be. So, so it's there at the moment, and that makes most sense to uh, for those guys to uh, to sell the car. So we'll see. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I just wanted to be the first guy to, for you guys to not just find a listing and be like, what's he on about? Obviously, we've got a lot coming up next year and a lot to get sorted. I'm flat out in the gym every morning. I get to the gym at sort of six o'clock every morning. I go from six till seven. I do brutal sort of intense workouts every day. So my fitness is now in full swing and uh, everything is like pushing towards my end goal. And what my end goal really is, is to just bring you guys involved. And can you imagine... There's been a GT4 going around the track here today, Porsche GT4. Not giving you any hints on that, but let's just say that something like that happened and I was doing a sort of subscriber track day, giving passenger rides, all sorts. It's just, there's so much unique content which we can create and do different. So there we go. I hope you understand. And if any ideas of the racing side, just put them in the comments down below. But I'm pushing so hard to make another dream happen again and I want to be standing on the top step of the podium again. So, it's not me saying that uh, I'm never going to get another supercar again because I will. Just at this time of organisation, from now to the summer, I doubt I'll have a supercar on my channel. But, yeah. Let's see. I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. Leave those comments down below. I will keep you posted every single step of the way. There's so much coming up. I am buzzing for 2020. I'm absolutely flipping buzzing. It's going to be a good one. Anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you very soon.
got one life to live, don't let